What is up, y'all? Welcome to another cool down mobility session as part of the Strong at Home series. This is week number five. We're gonna go in about 10 seconds. All you need is a mat, your body. There are five exercises, starting with the 90-90 rotation. So sitting on the ground, draw your knees into those 90 degree angles, maybe slightly closer in if you need a little bit extra stability and mobility. This is a little bit tight for you. But all you're doing is swapping from one side to the next, really just rotating through those hip joints. You can lean back onto those hands to help you out. And we're here for 60 seconds. So similar format to other mobility sessions. We're here for 60 seconds each exercise. There's five exercises total. And then we're gonna go through it three times for a 15 minute set. Nice, just starting to wake up those hips, find that mobility. You can lean into that front leg. In 10 seconds, we're gonna stand up and do another hip opener here. In five, four, three, two, one. Stand up nice and tall, working with your left leg on the ground. Bring your right knee up, out, and around. Again, working in the mobility in that hip joint and then bring it up the opposite direction. So you're working almost like a, in a half circle here. Just opening up that hip, almost like there's a hurdle here. You're trying to get your knee up, over, and out. Focusing on that one side. If standing on that one leg is too much for you, grab onto a wall. June, that's my plant and use the wall as a little bit of support, but I still want you to stay upright, <sighs> up, out, and around. 20 seconds to go. <sighs> and then 15, we'll switch sides and focus on that other leg. This is a full body mobility, but there's a huge emphasis on the hips today. It's where I struggle with the most. I'm sure a lot of people struggle with it. And other side. I'll show you from the side here. Left knee comes up, out, and back, and then forward. Nice and slow here. You may notice that one side is a little bit easier to maneuver, maybe not as sticky as the other, and it, that's really, really normal. It's just something to note and an area for you to focus on especially with these mobility drills, especially during any warm up you do before any workout. In 20 seconds, we're going into a world's greatest stretch. <sighs> nice and slow. Oh, mobility days are so good. They're so good. Three, two, and one. Bring your right foot outside your right hand. Drop your back knee down, hold for a few seconds, and then sit up, switch out your feet, drop your back knee down if you want, and hold. You're really, again, just working through those hips, but now getting into your hip flexors, so the front part of that hip where your quad meets your lower core. Just trying to lengthen things out open things up. If you're going to take it a step further, you can just keep that back foot or back knee up off the ground and use the weight of your body to sink even deeper into that stretch. In 10 seconds, we're going into a half kneeling frogger. So keeping one knee bent in that tabletop, one leg goes out to the side in three, two, one, I'm gonna start with my right leg down, left leg extended, and then I'm gonna sit back in my heel, up, and then I'm gonna add a thoracic twist at the bottom, bringing my left arm through my right side. So whichever leg is extended out, that same arm is gonna come through and back through center. And you don't have to add that thoracic twist, it's totally optional. I don't know why I always forget my timer. Hoops out on me. There we go. But, so if you just wanna keep it here, you can do that. 
If you do wanna add in a little bit extra for your spine, add in that small twist. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna switch legs. So now working more that adductor, the inner thigh. Switch out those legs, opposite legs extends out, sit back, heel to butt or butt to heel rather. She feeling some nice deep stretch, deep relief in that inner thigh. I'd love to know, take this opportunity. Let me take this opportunity. If you've been doing the Strong at Home series, let me know which day has been your favorite. And if you're tuning into mobility, how many of these have you actually tuned into? Because again, I think it's really easy to neglect mobility and to neglect slowing down, but you just shouldn't do it. We shouldn't do that, okay? Life is already fast paced. We don't need to heighten our cortisol any more than necessary. In five seconds, back to the top, going into that 90-90 stretch in three, two, and one. Back to that same stretch here, rotating out and around. Oop, I didn't mean to turn around on y'all. Let me face this way. Sometimes I swear this stretch, I just like end up in the most random places because my body scooches. I don't know if it's because I'm so tight in my hips that it naturally just starts to move places. But like within the next like five reps, I could end up by June. Yeah, I'm talking to you, June. 60 seconds here, 30 seconds to go. Yes, that's very nice. June likes to be a nuisance when it's most inconvenient for people. I'm sorry, June, I'm still teaching. 10 seconds. No. Five, four, three. We're gonna stand it up, two, and one. Stand it up tall. Like, I just wanna prep myself mentally because she is a lot sometimes. Nice, and if you can, let go of that wall and just use the strength in your leg, in your body weight. No, Junie. I don't like when you lick my legs, okay? It's not fun. 10 seconds, you'll switch sides. Only one of us likes that, okay? Three, two, and switch it out. Can you go lay down? Go lay down. Go. Go lay down. No. She's like, but it's playtime. And I'm like, it's really not. <sighs> nice. And again, if you can let go of that wall, thank you. I feel like anytime I see, if y'all have ever done yoga with Adrian's classes, they're on YouTube. I highly recommend their great yoga classes. Her dog is the most chill. And I'm like, can I have, can I have that? That sounds great. I mean, now she's doing like pretty well, but she has her like little like toddler moments where there's like bursts of energy, like, like now. Three, two, one, and world's greatest stretch. Open up that hip, drop your back knee if you want to. You can add on to this stretch by hitting a downward facing dog between each rep. That's just gonna open up your back a little bit more and your hamstrings a little bit more. So it's a great addition to add on. Breathe through these movements. No need to rush through anything. In 15 seconds, we're going into that half frogger. Four, three, two, and one. I'll show you from the front kind of what it looks like. I mean, 
is pretty standard, but knee is underneath that right hip. My leg to the outside is extended with my toe facing forward, so my foot is parallel to my body. And all you're doing is rocking back and rocking forward. Back and forward. You can walk your hands out to go into a little bit of a child's pose motion here too. Mobility really like, I mean, kind of like in yoga, there's no, there, there's right ways to do things for sure. But I think just slowing things down, not overdoing it, not overstretching uh, is really the key here. So don't get caught up with making everything perfect. Just start, just do it. Five, four, three, two, and switch it out. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, this side for me screams back. My left or my right inner thigh, my hip is like, what the hell did you do to me? And I, I just have to tell it I'm getting old. That's really what it is. Things don't work exactly the same like they used to. <sighs> nice, keep it going. Going back into that 90-90. <sighs> In 10. In three. Two and one. 90 90 stretch here. Open up those hips. Rotate and open. This last little bit, we're gonna not hit the half frogger. We're just gonna go in 90 90 standing hip opener and then we'll be done. So we're gonna X out the world's greatest stretch and the half frogger. So take your time with these moves. Oh, 15 seconds. Actually scratch that. I feel like the world's greatest stretch is a, it's my, it's my favorite mobility. So let's do that one. Three, two, one, instead of that standing hip opener. Open up. It's called the world's greatest stretch for a reason, you know? This is your last 60, last two minutes. If I can find my words. Last two minutes here. Open up. You can add on to add a little bit more of an opener through your those hamstrings now that you're completely warmed up. in 20 seconds we're gonna finish with some neck rolls some breathing and then we're out of here I went a little bit rogue on that part so I hope that's okay but sometimes I just like to go with what I'm feeling you know maybe if I'm feeling tight someone else is feeling like this and feeling tight all right, shake it out. Meet me in a kneeling position. From here, I want us to open up our neck and through our traps. So bring your right ear down to your right shoulder. Your right hand goes up and over the side to really open up through that left neck in the trap. And then drop your chin down towards your chest. Meet me on the other side, left ear to left shoulder. If you need a little bit extra, bring that hand and put some light, light pressure and then rotate down, opening of that neck. And then really carefully roll in the half moon back now. Lifting your chin up, rolling back. Again, we always hunch over our computer, so opening up our back and our neck is really, really important. 
and then final deep breath here. Reach up overhead and let it go. Amazing job. I am so proud of you for tuning in to this mobility session, for slowing down. It is not easy to do with the lives that we live. Again, the mobility I feel like is so neglected. So I am extremely, out of all the workouts, I'm the most proud of you for showing up for this one. So thank you for being here. If you enjoyed the session, if you enjoyed the slower pace of it, please let me know in the comments. Like this video if you liked it. Share with a friend if you feel like a friend needs a little bit more extra love in their lives. Subscribe to the channel to support me. Support the channel. These are all free for you and I love doing it. So I love seeing those subscribes go up because it helps support me in so many ways more than you actually know. And that's all I got. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye y'all, see you in the next workout.